How to set boundaries with your narcissistic mother. Boundaries are rules or limits that we set that basically tell a person what behaviors you are willing to deal with and what behaviors you're not, what's permissible, what's acceptable, and what's unacceptable. And boundaries clearly define the consequences if your boundaries are not respected. You are not going to be basing your boundary based on your mother's approval or how she's going to react. You're going to be basing your boundaries based on you, your well-being, and your family. When you're setting boundaries, make sure that you're setting a boundary that you're capable of enforcing. Because if you can't enforce it, then your mom is going to see that you can't enforce your own boundaries. Your narcissistic mother is just not going to understand. So once you've let go of the hope that she's going to be an understanding, nurturing, caring, empathetic mother, then it's easier to set boundaries. Your narcissistic mother does not believe in boundaries, so it's going to get harder before it gets easier. When you're setting boundaries, make sure that you focus on one thing at a time. For example, mom, I do not want to hear any gossip from my siblings. If you continue gossiping and I'm going to hang up the phone, I'm going to go into my room, I am going to leave, I am going to go outside and take a walk. That's it. Anything that your mom is going to say after that, like protest or anything, just walk away. Or do the thing, the consequence that you say you were going to do. If it helps to think of it like this, just think about you trying to teach a toddler about boundaries. You have to repeat it over and over and over until they finally get it. Your mom may start a smear campaign where she tries to go somewhere to people to say that she's a victim and woe is her and poor me, like I have such an ungrateful daughter. Uh, the big thing that you have to think about is it's probably going to happen. So one of the big things that you need while you're healing is just stop caring what people are going to think and i know it's harder than it is because we were taught to care about what everybody thought because our parents our mother criticized us so we think that everybody else is criticizing us just as harshly and it hurts but if those people don't know your character and you know who you really are then it shouldn't matter and some of you may be afraid of losing a sibling well you may are you pre are you prepared for that for you to happen does your sibling know that your mother is narcissistic I know not all daughters are ready to go no contact, so starting with low contact and setting boundaries will help you if you want to do that in the future. And narcissism is on a spectrum, so the relationship with your mother could become a little bit more manageable. It's important to understand narcissistic abuse and how it works, and also understand that when you end up setting boundaries, you may feel isolated. Uh, so if you have a support group somewhere, somebody understands narcissistic abuse, please go to that support group. Be prepared to get the silent treatment too from your mother if you set those boundaries and maybe her not speak to you again, if that's something you're okay with. Once you start setting the boundaries and you've detached yourself from your mother, you might start getting a flood of emotions and it's okay to feel these emotions because you do have to process them.